Nearly every documentary that you watch on Charlie Luciano tells you that he received his famous nickname Lucky having survived a severe beating after being taken for a ride in 1929. Let me tell you now, this is completely wrong. Keep watching and I will show you the proof that debunks this massive mafia myth. I was only seven when my mama got depression, really had to watch it happen in the worst way. Didn't want a present, I just want to say a present, but she's just too drunk to even make it on my birthday. I was just a kid back then, trying to get a grip on the shit back then. Try to play it off like shit happens, it's a real dark place, I ain't been back. Welcome to OC Shorts, bringing you brief but detailed mini documentaries on the American Mafia and other organised crime. If this is the sort of content that you enjoy, feel free to like the video and hit the subscribe button. Today, we are going to be setting the record straight with regards to how Charlie Luciano received his famous nickname, Lucky. But first, let's clear up some other fallacies around his name. As most of you are probably aware, Charlie Luciano's real name was Salvatore Lucania. But did you know that despite what you see on TV and movies, such as Boardwalk Empire, Making of the Mob or Mobsters, Charlie didn't actually use the alias Luciano until as late as 1931 when he gave it to police after being arrested on a felony assault charge. This is the first recorded time that the name Luciano was used. It's said that personally, Charlie always preferred to use his given surname, Lucania. With regards to the pairing of his nickname Lucky with his alias Luciano, the first occurrence of this occurred when crusading special prosecutor Thomas Dewey used it in a press conference in 1936. Media outlets throughout the world picked up on this and the legendary name Lucky Luciano was cemented in history. On the street, he was never known as Lucky Luciano. It was always Charlie, or as Joe Valacci said, Charlie Lucky. Allegedly, some of the old timers even called him Sal. Close friend and Costa Nostra legend Frank Costello said, I never heard anyone call him Lucky, not even behind his back. So, back to Luciano's infamous ride. Many historians claim that Luciano was grabbed by Maranzano's men and savagely beat him to within an inch of his life. Years later, Luciano tells a different story, claiming that he was beaten by the police. But that is a story for another episode. Anyway, the following day, on the morning of the 17th of October, 1929, Luciano was found left for dead on Highland Boulevard, Staten Island. This is where many documentaries falsely claim that because he survived this vicious attack, he received the nickname Lucky. But, as I mentioned at the start of the video, this is massively incorrect. And here is the proof. This is a newspaper cutting from the evening of the 17th of October, the same day that Luciano was found. If we look at the second line down on the main paragraph, it reads, Charles Lucania, known to the police as Lucky. 33, chauffeur and Broadway racketeer. This clearly indicates that Charlie was known by the name Lucky prior to being taken for the ride. In other words, it would have been impossible for the police and the press to have known of Luciano as Lucky if he'd only received this nickname after these events. So, how did he get the name? If Luciano himself is believed, it's through a mispronunciation of his given surname, Lucania. Whilst in exile in Italy, he confided in a journalist the origins of his name. Growing up in the Lower East Side of Manhattan, there was a real mix of different ethnicities. Luciano said that some of the Russian Jews struggled with the pronunciation of his surname, Lucania, and started to shorten it to just the first syllable, Luke, which sounded like luck, which then on the street evolved into Lucky. And eventually the name Charlie Lucky was born. So, next time you're on social media and you see someone incorrectly state the origins of his name, you too can now be smug and annoying like me and take pleasure in correcting them. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Please feel free to like the video and hit the subscribe button if you wish to see future content. Till the next time. I was only seven when my mama got depression, really had to watch it happen in the worst way. Didn't want a present, I just want to see a present, but she's just too drunk to even make it on my birthday. I was just a kid back then, trying to get a grip on the shit back then. Try to play it off like shit happens, it's a real dark place, I ain't been back. back, back.